Did you know I was not there for Sid and Kiara's wedding day? I left a day earlier because I was booked to be somewhere else, so my crew filmed that wedding. Fun fact is, uh, it's been 13 years and I still don't have an assistant who I take to a wedding. Did you know that a wedding ceremony can go on for more than 30 hours? Fun fact, I am divorced but I do make the best wedding videos you can get. From Alia and Ranveer to Deepika and Ranveer. From Virat and Anushka to Katrina and Vicky. Well, the weddings of our favourite Bollywood couples are always talked about. So today, in the latest episode of Tell Me All, we speak to wedding photographers and filmographers about the wedding and what really goes on behind the scenes. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm going to start with you and I would love to know, was this your first career choice or did you make a career switch? I made a pretty massive career switch. I'm from Hyderabad. A typical South Indian boy. I studied for the IITs, got wow. into the IMs, the <laughs> usual, you know, the padhe likhe hua achha bacha, right? Somewhere along the line, I got an interest into wedding photography. I think I got completely obsessed with it. Yeah. And in 2010, I convinced my parents that I'm going to quit my career to be a shadi photographer. And I think it was wedding number 11 itself where we were shooting this one where uh, Shankar Ehsan and Loy were performing on stage, Rahat Fateh Ali Khan was there for the reception, okay. Falguni Patak was there for the Mehndi and I was like, what is going on? That is my career switch in a, in a nutshell. Because from that wedding onwards, it's just been a magical ride. Wedding photography answered the big question, can I live a creative life yeah. while sustaining it financially? Right. It did in my first year and now the word sustain is a little under. Like I said, I want yeah. to switch careers. <laughs> So I was working with Shah Rukh Khan for 10 years. I moved to India from London to come and work with Shah Rukh and I was a director, creative director with his company for a decade. In between, I got lost with Bollywood because I was shooting all these big Bollywood films. Was Mehuna, which was massive and Paheli, yeah. which was massive and Ashoka, which was war scenes. And yeah. Deep down inside, I really wanted to make documentaries. And I'd written a script which was really nice and small and it was documentary based but fiction in Bollywood. And I right. went to Shah Rukh with it and I was like, I really want to make this film. And he's like, let's make Rawan first. So I looked, I went to the sets, I read the script and I saw Rawan had 32 cameras and I was like, okay, it gets even bigger. Yeah. Um, and right about then I got married and I said, I'm going to shoot my first, my, my wedding video. Right. And I ended up filming it and that went viral when I put it up online. So then I decided to coin the wedding film off right. and focus on what I do best, which is make wedding videos. Working in the States for, you know, six, seven years. I came back to Bangalore and uh, I was not able to adjust to the Indian way of working yeah. in IT. Ironically, I'm one of the like the most, like I hated going to weddings. When my friend came from US and um, he said, you know, you have a camera, so you shoot, I don't have money. So <laughs> I think uh, you shoot my wedding. So when I sh shot that wedding, I was like, okay, Weddings are like so damn interesting, so mm -hmm. damn cool. And so, um, so I started doing it badly, you know, on weekends along with my IT job. And I had this thing in mind that a milestone in my head that once I start making two times what I'm making now, right. I'll, I'll switch. What was your first big celebrity wedding that you did? We shot Allu Arjun's wedding, ah. uh, who's today a national star. I'm a Telugu boy, but yeah. I've never been into Telugu cinema. Okay. So I didn't know what much, I mean, how big a phenomenon yeah. Alu Arjun was. Uh, little did I know how big the family was. Uh, at his haldi, uh, his brother came along and he's like, Joe, come, I'll, uh, I'll let you meet my uncle. I'll introduce you to my uncle. And I said, like, uncle, uncle, uncle is Chiranjeevi, you know. Even though I've never seen much of Telugu cinema back in the day, yeah. at least, everybody knows who Chiranjeevi is. Yeah. Okay, so I was like, oh my God, Chiranjeevi is seeing my photos. <laughs> I would be understating it if I said that it changed the path of my career because during that week, I was on the Deccan Chronicle, is this Telugu, uh, this newspaper in Hyderabad, yeah, and the front page there was this headline, the new face of wedding photography, and my face was wow. there without a beard. <laughs> Since then, everything has been nuts all the way till when Vishal and I ended up in Tuscany hmm. for uh, Anushka and Virat's wedding. Yeah. First celebrity wedding I shot was Dia Mirza's first wedding, and then there was Deepika's wedding, which was I think one of my favorites, which I really thoroughly that was my favorite wedding till date. Deepika was very close to me. I've known her from. Her first commercial that she shot for Liril ah. very early on when we were, when I was working at Charuk, I did the VFX for that ad. Okay. Then I shot her when she was doing Om Shanti Om, her first movie. Yeah. And then I shot her when I was doing my first Bollywood film as a director. I was doing Ye Jawani Hai Diwani Ka Shadi. Yes, yes. Um, the wedding sequence in that film. 
Ayan had called me to direct it. And as I was directing it, she looked at me one night and said, you know what, whenever I get married, and at that time, I think she knew she was going to get married to Ranveer. Yeah. It's like, when I get married, you are going to shoot my wedding video. And I said, you promise? And she said, I promise. And lo and behold, when she was getting married, she called me personally and says, I want you to do this. Trusted me completely. I had full access. There was a direct contact with her and her husband. I remember we went to London to show them the film. The whole family got together and they watched it and we wept and we cried and we laughed. And and that was, that was, that was an experience. That was really the life-changing yeah. experiences, these ones. Okay. First celebrity wedding, sorry, I shot last year. Right. So it was in uh, Jan or Feb. Which when we shot Love, Ranjan and Alicia's wedding. You know, the three of you, of course, exclusively don't just do celebrity weddings. You'll also do other weddings. So if you guys had to look at both, right? Celebrity weddings and weddings of other people. But what is the huge difference that y'all see in these two weddings? The only difference would be how much, how many people are hankering for the photos, <laughs> you know, seconds <laughs> after the Fera hone ke baad. Yeah, like Katrina yeah. and Vicky, I think uh, Fera's ended at 5.31 or something like that. And 548, some bugger had already put one 1,700 mm photo of them. <laughs> one blurred image was there. First look, I was like, <laughs> we have anyway. So we that's the only thing we're battling. That's the big yeah. difference. Bigger pressure for me is the delivering the photos within the first 15 minutes yeah. and getting that first photo out. Also answering that big question, which is that first photo, mm, right? Is yeah. it a real moment? Is it a posed one? Is it at the Sindur? Is it at the Feras? You know, every time I look at these wedding pictures, I keep thinking, how did they choose this? It is not easy. <laughs> that is not easy. That's, I think, <laughs> the only difference between a celebrity wedding and a normal wedding is those five minutes. Because they're so used to being in front of the camera, right? And used to being stars in front of the camera. When they're doing a wedding, they actually have to be themselves mm. for the real essence of the person to come Correct. up, right? How difficult it is to convince an actor, right? You don't have to you don't have, I think there's so many people around them. No parents mm, are yes. there, sisters are there. Comfort. Mm. All their roots are there. So they, they yeah. people tend to stay rooted. If mm. I mean we're talking about celebrities, what about the industrialists we film for, the richest men in the world? Yeah. Literally. You did the Ambani wedding, yes. They're, 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 everybody's really mm. uh, they're all really grounded people. And you say there's no reason for the, for it to be uncomfortable for anyone or for them to hide who they are. Right. Or for them to put up a, a I think that's why the films and the photographs are loved so much, no? Yeah. It's it's them. When you guys are doing, again, celebrity weddings, you know, before we know, we just hear, oh, this one's getting married, that one's getting married, there's buzz, but nobody knows for sure, right? When is it that you guys are actually bought into this and how do you manage to keep it a secret? Because you guys also have a large team. Yep, we keep it limited to the people need to know basis, kind right. of like the MI6 CIA <laughs> virus. Um, I think we have that's a names. great metaphor. <laughs> we have code names on the calendar, so we don't reveal their names and all of that jazz. We know that there's a wedding happening. We know that we cannot talk about it, but we don't know who's getting married. Most of the time what happens is by the time we come to know, we come to know through media only. <laughs> because the news is already out. For us, the timelines have been very different. Mm. I think uh, I think the longest we've done is six to seven months. For six months, I've had to hold the secret <laughs> in my tummy. Virat and Anushka's wedding. Uh, this is something I can share. Uh, is uh, Noel and Shivali from my crew shot with me. They're both directors. Brides choose them to shoot their wedding, etc. Uh, they were, we all landed in Tuscany. It is the day before the first event. Right. Then we broke it to Noel and Shivali. <laughs> Any issues that you guys have faced while shooting these weddings? Like I remember Alia uh, put it up and she said that, you know, oh God, I was missing, I was losing the sunset and I wanted my pictures and I kept telling the pundit, hurry up, right? So are there ever issues like these that you guys can, have faced during these weddings? I can list saying? a list <laughs> of situations for you. Have these are, I mean, these are not issues as such. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, like it's just trying to keep up, keep up with the plan. Yeah. You know, but lots of things go wrong, yeah? yeah? Like, you know, pundits get in the way. So they got two pundits fighting at the manda yeah. because of different cultures. So they literally go almost <laughs> fist, fist blows. You manda had fights at a wedding. What? Bones break at yeah. a wedding. Manda brown. I've had, yeah, Thailand. Thailand. Uh, sometimes, you know, when these pictures are put out, a lot of people say, oh, all pictures are now looking similar. Okay. So how do you guys take that criticism or that feedback? I don't take it at all. There was a time that I did. The over overarching message was, they're always laughing in their photos. Why are they always laughing? Okay. Really, really I, it's a very common complaint. Okay. <laughs> Firstly, I think when the first time our photos went really, really, really viral, Pan India, globally, uh, I Which think one is that? Virat and Anushka's wedding, 2017. People had not seen a bride and groom be so normal at their wedding. If you see the first photo that went, the two photos that went out, one is of the Barmala, yeah. okay, where Vishal, uh, Virat's diving like mm, this. Yes, yes. And then there is one in front of the Feras, the Sat Feras. I mean, there's the Mandap pay, the, the fire is burning, and they're both laughing. Mm. Couple of things. You can see the Haldi on uh, Virat's face. Mm. Okay, you can notice that yellow. It, that's a flaw. 
technically That's speaking right. Right, you would retouch it, etc. Because his face has to look perfect. It was not. You can, in fact, if you look down, you can see the haldi on his socks also. Mm-hmm. And socks because it's uh, two degree centigrade weather, right? And <laughs> yeah. we're all shooting in yeah. that madness. The thing is, you see that it's a beautiful photo, but a bunch of negative comments will come along. Mm. Right, ignore them. Nice. People are not used to seeing real things. That's my yeah. honest opinion. Virata Lunoshka's one minute teaser that she put out for everyone to see was put out a year after. Um, no one's ever seen her real trailer apart from Joseph and a few people who was who were there at the wedding. I asked Virat personally, he's like, I love your video and I think it's the best, it's the best film I have ever seen. But I would never want to share this with the world. And he explained me he explained to me why. And his manager was showing me some of the hate that people get. Yeah. And it's really hateful. And you wouldn't yes. want that to be said about your work or, or or something you've created. So I'm happy that it's not online. I'm happy that nobody ever gets to see it. I'm happy yeah. that these films are so personal. I think what Joseph said, you do get to see a lot of com- comments. Mm. Uh, personally, I love negative comments. <laughs> I, I love because we, whenever we get, we take screenshots and share between our groups and we have fun. What happens is most of the photos that come out are usually from the ceremony itself. Most of the time, yeah. they will not post posed photographs. The first priority is usually to get, uh, you know, because when the Kiara photo came out, mm. you know, that was the first time I, you know, I face a lot of comments hmm. that you made them do like this and you know, it never it's a part of a I don't know maybe people don't attend weddings that much <laughs> because um, it is like it's a fera or fera. Kiaga and Sid's wedding came up um, and lots of people loved it and lots of people hmm. liked it and there were some haters too and one person said I can't believe you're divorced and you're still shooting wedding videos how dare you and I'm just like whoa <laughs> I am rotten early I do ideate I do compose music we hmm. have to work with lyricists I have to work on uh, the crew and the edit schedule, I have to work on the plan of the shoot and how I'm going to execute it with yeah. my crew. Although you go into a wedding with an open mind because you want to be able to capture everything and not be like have a screenplay to follow. Uh, but then once you're there, the ability to think on your feet, make sure you capture the right things and if it's not going according to the plan you had, then you should change your plan. The shooting part of it is easier than the pre-production and the post-production. In fact, a lot of times it's the most enjoyable part of making a film. Yeah. Um, You get to celebrate, you get to drink, you get to eat, you get to chill, you get to dance, you get to witness like nice things happening and you feel special also. You're at at an event where the whole world wants to go to but then you are there instead. You've been chosen to be there. So that makes you feel special. The crew love it. Before I go, I really want you to answer this just one question for me. Who's getting married next? Me. (laughs) 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 I'm only eligible also. (laughs) For us. All right, thank you so much, you guys, well, for talking to me. Thank you. And thank good you. luck to many more weddings, experiences, and richer owners just financially. Thank you, thank thank you so you. much, guys. Thank you.